Hey there everybody, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we had a question come to us from a gentleman named Peter and he is looking for a way to control two combo boxes at once. One combo box that actually controls the other. So if somebody selects the profession medical, it will <coughs> excuse me, the other combo box will bring in the list called medical, which will be these three items at the current time. If they choose engineering, the other combo box will fill in with whichever engineering uh, things are. And if the <coughs> first one is chosen IT, then of course this will plug in all the IT things in the second combo box. So it will basically fill in the other things based on what they choose in the first combo box. So let's figure out how to resolve that. Uh, all we have to do is, first of all, let's make our our named ranges it'll make it a lot easier and so we'll make three dynamic ranges in case you feel like adding things to your list and I'll show you how to do all that let's walk through it right now now we're gonna um, actually I'm just gonna name this list professions so I'm gonna highlight all four cells and hit control alt F3 uh, let's see here uh, nope sorry let's see yeah, it seemed right. Control Shift F3. Yes, Control Shift F3. Excuse me. Control Shift F3. We can create a name from the selection based on the very top row. The top row says professions, and so I'm going to go with it. <clears throat> so what I've just done is I've named this these three as the, whatever the top row was, and it's called professions now. I'm not going to do that with these three because I want these to be dynamic. So let me take you through the steps for making a dynamic range. First of all, Alt I N D uh, will get you to the names manager. You can also go to, I think it's under uh, data. I don't know, I never go this way. Excuse me. Where's the names manager? Here it is. It's under formulas name manager or control F3. I'm a creature of habit. Alt I N D. So, <clears throat> names manager, let's create a new range. We're going to call this one, first one medical, and we're going to use the offset function equals the offset of, let's use the offset of this one, going down uh, one row, because it's the starting points right here, down one, comma, over to the right or left zero. So it'll start right here. Then, how many cells down and how many over is it going to be? Well, <clears throat> we're actually going to use the count a function to get how many to go down. It'll go down uh, one, it'll cover one, two, three, but we don't want to say the number three. We want to take the whole count of all these minus one, minus the top row. So the count a of b through b minus one comma and then how many do we want it to be one wide or one two wide no just one so one <clears throat> for this particular one and I think another quote would be or another parentheses so click on that nope too many parentheses and hit OK alright so let's double check that the dancing ants have it uh, that's the correct dynamic range there let's copy and paste that a little bit here create a new range Call it engineering. And let's copy and paste. And what have we got here? Let's expand this. So this range is actually going to be referring to C1. And it's going to be C through C from C through Shining C, huh? And uh, let's double check that. Yep, that's engineering. It's got all four selected. Copy and paste that new how about IT and that's gonna be checking out D and from D to shining D and hit OK let's take a look dance against have it excellent so we have our named ranges let's hit alt F11 to get into the visual basic editor again that's alt F11 go to the user form you may already have a user form uh, made up mr. Pete but let's go ahead and create combo box number one and we'll call that profession. Let's put a title right here. Profession. This workbook will be available for free download if you want to play with what I've done here and check it out. And we'll call, let's leave this combo box one because I'm feeling lazy right now. So let's copy and paste those two things. 
And now we have our combo box number two, which we are going to call, um, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, prof we got our profession, and then we have uh, title, maybe, or division, whatever. You all figure out what you want to label that. And so this here's our combo box number two. And so combo box two is going to be filled with whatever list that we want it to based on what they choose here. So we need to do a change event on this one which will tell this what it's um, if you're on a sheet it'll be your list fill range if you're on a user form it's called the row source but either way the list fill range <coughs> equals a certain named range or row source equals whatever the named range is. In this case row source equals engineering or row source equals blah. So let's go ahead and double click on the profession combo box and let's do um, well let's go ahead and fill that one up we know where that is don't we go down to the row source <clears throat> and let's do profession oops is it professions oh it's plural sorry professions there we go I hit enter and it didn't ding at me so that must be right let's look at our preview yep medical engineering and IT good great so double click on it so we want to do a change event anytime it changes if it changes from um, um, uh, medical engineering or IT um, we're going to have to do something different so you can either do if this combo box equals this then uh, else if it is this do this and else if it's I is equal to IT then do that but or you can do a case uh, uh, select case thing so uh, probably be a little simpler to do the select case so we're going like to select the case and and the item that we're going to be in question is me dot combo box one me is the user form in this case because we're in the user form um, uh, thing there yeah, let's see and then uh, you're always going to have an end select at the end of your select case thing I'm going to tab in and I'm going to say case so in the case of or basically if it is the word medical it's like saying case if or in the case that it is medical then but you don't have to type then case medical then um, uh, me dot combo box two dot row source is and what's the name that we want it to be we want it to be medical is the name of the row source um, in the case that it is um, uh, engineering I'm gonna copy and paste that because I'm a lazy bum in the case that it's engineering then me dot blah 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 is uh, me dot combo box two dot row source equals quotes engineering in quotes whoops I already had quotes in my copy paste and then finally let's just copy and paste this whole thing here and uh, if in the case that it's IT is selected then me dot combo box number two's row source is we just named that one IT and then you have your end select down here so let's just go up a little bit here and now you have your your three cases you don't need a case else unless you just want it to go nowhere case else uh, do nothing that way it won't give an error I guess I don't know uh, if you're really concerned about errors you could do on error or zoom next I don't think it will let's not let's not put that in there we don't really need it let's make sure there's no errors just by you know let's cl clicking either one so oops I clicked save I'm gonna go ahead and save it I'm gonna put this in my Dropbox so that you can download this example um, so let's go to my shared workbooks and we're gonna name this one what are we gonna call it um, let's see how about two combo boxes uh... let's see two combo boxes vba user form one controls the other ah there you can find it. it's called two combo boxes vba user form hyphen one controls the other save in it and it is immediately available for download you can find it under that title click on the dropbox link in the video description now let's get to the good stuff shall we let's open up user form one and i'm going to click on the play button 
So now we're able to, here's the moment of truth. So division is not filled in. Let's click on medical. And now, uh, yep, family pediatrician, orthopedic, or surgeon. And if I choose engineering, well then, uh, we actually, I don't like surgeon being there. If I clicked on engineering, then surgeon shouldn't be left over from the previous selection. So I don't like that. I want the change event to immediately make me dot combo box one equals to blank. So, oh, you know what that's going to do? That's going to trigger the change event. Um, Oh, I meant me to combo box two. That's fine. Yeah, the, the second combo box needs to be blank, and then it's gonna its row source will still be filled with the new entry or with the new um, list range that we've named. So that that being said, so let's make it engineering, and let's choose one structural. I want the word structural to go away whenever I choose IT. So boom, and it is gone, and the list fill range has changed. So that's probably what you're wanting. I'm thinking so medical let's hit down arrow shift tab down arrow IT shift tab up up tab there's all your medical so that's how you can control you can control one combo box with another combo box so anyways thanks for watching everybody and uh, mr. Peter I hope that helped you thanks for watching everybody God bless